Good morning, everybody. So, just wanted to show you what a business owner goes through from time to time with ungrateful clients. Hey, it's part of business. I uh, also wanted to make this before the scammer um, doctors everything up to make it look the way he wants to look because I know he's not going to go back as far as I'm going back. I'm taking you all the way back to August where everything was great. You know, everything was great. Told him his payment failed. Told him the bankruptcy was deleted. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was planning on making a payment Friday. And I'm going to try to put screenshots of the payment history uh, beside this. If not, I'll do the screenshots after the screen recording. Um, started a new job. I will advise Friday which card to use. I completely understand. The BK gone finally. And I said yes. Pulled it straight from the credit monitoring to make sure it wasn't a glitch. It's off Experian. Thanks so much. I'm definitely going to continue with this process. <clears throat> You're welcome. If you are 100% sure you are going to pay me Friday, I'll go ahead and do the work. 100% sure. And I told him I had my top paid guy working on it. And he says, consumer law this round. I said, every round is consumer law. Yes, sir. I see the BK is gone. I went directly to Experian. And then he says, everything credit is official. Now, keep in mind, this is just August, just a few months ago. And I said, thank you, sir. We do our best. I said, feel free to make a review video about removing the bankruptcy if you like. Obviously, we don't try to get nobody, you know, force anybody to do anything they don't want to. He said, I am, meaning he is shy. Completely understand, sir. Can my wife do it for me? Of course, I even offered to give him a discount on the next payment, telling him, just be honest and tell the truth. I never ask anyone to make me look good. People deserve to know the honest truth, and that's all I ask for, sir. She's an expiring she's an aspiring actress, so not camera shy at all. Great at doing stuff like that. That's awesome. He asked where to send the video, told him my email, said he had an Android, so I knew it wouldn't be clear. And then let's fast forward to yesterday. At what point do you file complaints? Every month. So you already filed complaints for my file. Yes, each round. Thought things would have been further along than they are at this point. Now, this is just a couple months later now. And I said, unfortunately, we do things the legal way. If you want it done faster, my company is definitely not for you because we do not do credit sweeps. No, that's not what the text says, but that's pretty much what I meant. And I also let him know his f payment failed. He said, at some point a while back, your website said six months. Laugh out loud. Got to read better. It says results in six months or less, not you'll be done, because that's exactly what it says. So when he says this next thing, honestly, I thought it was a joke. You know, everybody knows Kristen Vargas has been in trouble for selling Social Security numbers, and that's not even her real name. So he says, I, got, I go to Kristen, laugh out loud, you're fired. And I was typing, perfect, your social will be sold in less than 50 days. But he sent cancel my contract first. And I said, already done when you missed payment. So what? I will prove your did it. If talking to me like I am stupid, F you. About to show your enemies how weak you are, F you. Tough guy, going to report you and your company and reporting you. You started it, said you're going to sell my social. I said, Kristen will, not me. You said it. Okay, so let's go back up here. He said, I'm going to Kristen Vargas. We are now talking about Kristen Vargas, whose real name is actually Kristen Kitchens. I said, perfect. Your social will be sold in less than 50 days. And I laughed about it. Again, thought we were joking. I misinterpreted it. My bad. But nowhere in this text message does it say, I'm going to sell your social. We are talking about Kristen Vargas. So let's go back. Can you talk like a man? You said it, read your text. I can read for you if you don't know how, not a problem. Because yes, I am agitated at this point. Plus he has already called me and cussed me out and called me every name in the book, yelling and screaming like no other. Since you want to talk about reading, I said, no, you asked for this, not me. She will sell your social, that's what she does. You said that, man. Stop texting me, okay? We done, point blank. I said, yep. 
more man than you stop texting me all saved so i was trying to figure out where the more man than you come from but i guess it's because i said call and talk to me like a man right on you like the back and forth huh yes you do i bet you got to respond to this i peep you already go ahead and reply hey do a video about it pinnacle don't even talk to his customers like that or vargas or any reputable company i know you want to reply so at this point he's just trying to get me to say something which i'm over it the back and forth done i don't have time for childish games so yeah i just wanted to show y'all what actually went down before andre doctors everything up because these are the actual text messages for me and him and i promise you he's not going to show the whole chat like me so if y'all have any questions or concerns about this video please leave them in the comments feel free to reach out to me and i hope y'all have a great day